The first image is from inside a border patrol facility in Donna, Texas, housing a flood of young migrants, some longer than the law allows. Kids in holding areas sectioned off by plastic dividers. We are working around the clock to move those children out of the border patrol facilities into the care and custody of the Department of Health and Human Services uh, that shelters them. Overflow facilities elsewhere in the state with their own problems. At a Midland shelter, the state's environmental agency says the water isn't safe to drink. Over the weekend, the administration paying some $87 million for more than 1,200 hotel beds as shelters overflow. The administration so desperate to alleviate the strain, they're beginning to release migrants without court dates. No me dio ninguno, ninguna información. At a bus station in Brownsville, this woman from Honduras told us the government said they would call her with that information and let her go. She wasn't alone. This woman, who we aren't identifying to protect her safety, was desperate to get to the U.S. Just two of the many migrants now coming to this station daily. So when migrants are released from a processing center, they end up here at a bus station like this one to go somewhere else. When they show up, they head over here as these people are to get a COVID test. The city is running those, and then if they test negative, they can wait in this area. There's another area in the back for people who test positive. There's a meal pickup here, and there's a nonprofit giving people clothes and snacks and diapers for the road. They're just uh, rushing in as soon as they can, you know, unless the gates close behind them. Many migrants say they're here because of new policies. While federal officials insist otherwise. The border is closed. The Biden administration is letting more asylum seekers stay on American soil, with the country on track to see more crossings than it's seen in decades. James Packard Newsy, McAllen, Texas.